So a few people have asked recently, what's involved in upgrading my speakers and what size are they? So I thought today we'd have a look, get the panel off and have a look behind and see what's involved in these speakers. Okay, so the first thing I've done is remove the door card. If you're not sure how to do that, what I'll try and do is put a, uh, a little link at the top here just into the video about how to remove the door card. It's not too difficult, it's relatively straightforward, but that gives us great access to the speaker. So let's have a closer look at that. Okay, so straight away we can see obviously we've got our plug. We've just got the two connections in there. We've just got a little clip on the side and we should be able to push in. And then with a bit of wiggling, he says, once that clip's released, just give a little bit of support with a screwdriver if you need to. Give it a wiggle. I know these can be quite tight. There we go, and away it comes. So then we've just got the fixings. One, two, three, that the speaker's fixed in with. Looking at them with a bit more light load, what we can actually see is, from the factory, they're actually riveted in. So we've, we'd need to drill them out if we wanted to take the speaker out and replace it. So it's only just those one, two, three, and I'm guessing they're not gonna be that hard and they're gonna come out relatively easy. One of the next things that you're gonna to wanna to know is what dimension are they? Or should we say what diameter they are? So measuring across the middle, we can see that we've got their to the outside of the plastic, about 155, 154 millimeters from outside to outside, or basically a six inch speaker. From fixing point to fixing point, I'm not sure whether or not we'd need that dimension, but if I go from where I am, it looks like we've got about, if I go in millimetres first, 160 millimetres. I'm guessing it's going to be equal all the way around from point to point. There or there about 160. So that's about six and a quarter inch, something like that. Maybe six and, six and one eighth or so. And then the next thing is depth. So just off the front of the door card, we can see there if I go right in, if I put my head right to the side of the door, it's actually about 22 mil deep. So it's a bit difficult to see from where you are, but from here, basically from this point to the very front of this face is 22 mil. What I'll try and do is see if I can move the camera so that I can get in there and you can see it for you as well. Okay, so there we go. So from about here, if I go right in here with the tape measure, you can see there we've got about 22 mil in that depth. Next up, looking at the tweeter, if you wanted to do the tweeters as well. Same sort of dimensions on this. So across we've got, you can see for yourself there, it's about 45 mil across the middle, something like that. A bit difficult from the camera angle here. It's about 45 mil. Depth wise, a bit difficult to get a tape measure in there. Maybe about 10 mil. Let's have a look at the back of it. So then from here, obviously all we can see, we just got the electrical connection there. It's just the two pins that we saw. We've kind of got this molding that comes around. And I think the clips were actually on the front side. So we'll have a look back at the front in a second just to see that come out. But from a dimension perspective here again, we can see that we've got that cross kind of that whole fix in maybe 50, 40, 45, 46, 47 millimeters there again, or should we say maybe a two inches there or thereabouts. So back at the front of the tweeter, looking a bit closer, we can see we've kind of got these little clips here. I'm guessing these are the points that are holding it in. So we'd probably be able to just prise those up, one, two, three points, and then that would allow us to remove it, slide it out from the back. So just looking at the speaker connector, we can see we've just got the two square ports on there, just those two connections, and that's it, that's all there is. The size of that plug, if you need it, if we just go off the top there, is about 11 mil across, something like that, maybe 10. Hopefully you can just about see that for yourself, I've got my finger behind it. So there or thereabouts, you know, you've got that from edge of plastic to edge of plastic, there or thereabouts. So obviously if you were upgrading, you'd need to drill out those three rivets, get your new speaker in there, about the same size, six inch speaker, I think we said, pop that back in there. You'd be able to refix them back in, maybe with some self-tapping screws. I know some people have done that and had great success with that. Get that, connect, get that connector connected back on 
and then that's it, that'd be you done. If you were doing the tweeters as well, obviously you'd do the tweeters at the same time, upgrade them, pop them back in, and then once you've done that, and the speaker in the door, then you'd be able to put the door card back on, obviously give it, take the opportunity, give it a clean up as well, pop that back on, and I'd say before you push everything back on, just turn the stereo on, give it a test, make sure everything's good, and then that should be you done. Okay, so for now, that's it. Hopefully that's been useful. If you've enjoyed it, remember to give us a like down below. If you haven't done so already, remember to hit subscribe coming up here now. Like I always say, the more likes and more subscribers I get, the more videos I'll keep making. But for now, really appreciate your time watching. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.